Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. Today we're taking a look at Adobe Camera Raw and how to utilize LUTs from Premiere Pro on your still images. A LUT, or lookup table, is a color profile generally applied to film footage but also to still images. It's a bit like an Instagram filter, but Camera Raw is used for editing raw photos so that there's more data to work with than just in a standard compressed JPEG image. LUTs give you a ton of creative control as they adjust the color profile rather than the other basic photo editing settings. You'll know you're using a LUT because none of your sliders will be moved, unlike in a preset or an action. LUTs make a great starting point for an edit to establish a look and for applying a similar look across a variety of images. If you're looking for LUTs to use, you should definitely check out filtergrade.com. We have a shop full of LUT packs from professional editors, and we also give away a ton of freebies on our blog. When you download them, you'll see them sometimes in a cube format, sometimes in an XMP file, and sometimes other file types. This is because different programs use different file types. Unfortunately, Camera Raw only accepts XMP files, so the fairly common cube files won't work natively, but we'll talk about how to do that later. For now, let's use XMP files. To add an XMP file to Camera Raw is actually a bit of a process. If you didn't realize that you could use LUTs in Camera Raw, we don't blame you. Open your PC's file explorer and open your C drive. Click Users, then your username. You'll now need to click the checkbox to show hidden files. Now click on the App Data folder that shows up, then Roaming, Adobe, Camera Raw, Settings. Now, copy your LUTs as XMP files into this folder. Open up a raw photo in Camera Raw, then go to Profile, then Browse. You'll see your new LUTs at the bottom of the screen organized into folders that were determined by the XMP files information. Now you can expand that folder and apply any of the LUTs that you've added. But what about importing cube files? These are incredibly common for video editing, but they need to be used differently in Camera Raw. We need to convert them first. Open up Photoshop and create a new project or open up an image. It doesn't matter what image, we just need something there. Then click on Filter and Camera Raw Filter. This will open the image in Camera Raw. Click on Profiles from the sidebar. We're going to create a new profile, but to do this properly, you need to hold the Alt key while clicking on the Create Preset button. In the pop-up that appears, go to the bottom and check the box for Color Lookup Table. Now your file explorer will pop up and you can load a cube file. Give this profile a name. I'll be naming it Sunset because that is the name of the LUT itself. For the folder, I'll be creating one called Colorful LUTs Pack because I'm using the filter grade LUTs Pack of the same name. Now when you go back to the main editing screen of Camera Raw, you can select a profile just like before. Click on Browse, then open up the new folder you created to see the filters in it. The big downside to using this method is that it takes a lot longer than just dragging all of your LUTs into a folder. You'll need to repeat the process for every single cube file you have, but the interface while editing will look exactly the same once you're done. All right, that's all about using LUTs in Camera Raw, whether you're using the XMP or cube format. Using LUTs will really level up your photo edits, so having access to them in something like Camera Raw is critical if you like using its interface to edit your raw photos. Subscribe to FilterGrade for more tutorials and guides just like this one, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.